Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Uziel and yeah, I'm not kidding. I found a build that I really, really like on the Uziel. So it all came from one of my streams where we had uh, one of the viewers who was really, really liking the Uziel and he says, you should really try this build. And then I tinkered a little bit with it. I changed it to my liking and I found something that I really, really enjoy. Now, the Uziel has a reputation of being a very squishy Mac. Now, what do you do if you have a squishy Mac? Of course, you try to avoid the fights. And today I want to show you a very nice medium range fire support build for the Uziel 6P. We are running two large lasers and four ear medium lasers. This is a classic laser vomit build here. And uh, our large lasers have a range of 450 meter and with all the skills applied, we have a range of about 545 now. So that is really good. Also, we have the medium lasers, which have a range of 360 with the skills unlocked. We have, uh, what is that, 435. So you can see a pattern here. This is a kind of kind of the same range and we, we have a good distance between us and the enemy if we stay at that range. So just avoid the direct fire contact with the enemy. You are a DPS player in this one here and you should play it as such. Leave the tanking for the assaults and for the heavies and you just stick to second line and amplify the damage that your teammates are doing on the front line. As you can see we are running XL Engine 250, however Go for a 255. I don't have that lying around right now, so uh, it has the same weight and it gives you a little bit of a speed bump. Therefore, uh, do that. But I again, I only have a 250 lying around, therefore we are going for that. We are running three jump jets, which is great for getting into good position. And as you can see, we have 18 heat sinks, eight external and 10 that are coming with the engine. And uh, I had to take out endosteel and put light ferrofibers in here. It is not really weight efficient, like using the most, uh, the most weight that we can get here, but uh, we get a lot of slots by dropping endo and therefore uh, we have enough space to actually cool down the mag. So that's a really nice upside here. The skill build looks like this. It's a basic um, classic laser vomit that I like to do here. So I really like the laser duration. I think they are kind of crucial. Those are probably the first notes that you want to go for when you're skilling that out. And after that, you can amplify your DPS with cooldown and get some heat generation going. Also, again, the range notes, they are actually really good here. They are not just filler, but they are, you know, just <laughs> really, really crucial for the playstyle of the build. I skipped survivability. And yes, I said uh, Uziel is very squishy in the beginning, but what I like to do is I like to um, cater towards the strength of the max instead of mitigating weaknesses. So therefore I am going for full mobility here. Uh, not full mobility, but full speed tweak. So the mech is uh, pretty speedy for a medium mech and we have the kinetic burst and heart break and anchor turn to position ourselves pretty much freely on the battlefield. So th that really, really helps. Again, you want to avoid the fights. You want to be in a position where you can fight or shoot at the enemy without getting getting any return fire. We are running full operations here, uh, full cool run, all the five nodes, the two in the bottom, the one in the center and the two here in the left and right arm. 60% radar deprivation and a seismic sensor and I would run two cool shots here because it is a laser build, it will generate a lot of heat and when you want to keep up your damage for that last laser burn to that center torso of that assault mech to just bring him down, having two cool shots is really really good. However, uh, as you can see here, I have still 79 skill points to get to that build here. My actual skill build looks like this. I got a value point into a consumable slot and then this here. As I said before, laser duration is the first thing that I want to get and this is the state where my Uziel is in right now and this is how you will see it on the battlefield in the two games that are coming. Now, I hope you have a lot of fun in the two games and if you do, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing Domination, and this is this is going to be good, I guess. Here are a lot of hiding spots, and as I said before, you do not want to engage the enemy directly. So either you have something in like a teammate uh, in between you and the enemy, or you get yourself a piece of cover and you engage from an angle, and they don't see you coming. All right. So we yeah, try to get some early damage out by going to this platform here. They are there's a lot of peeking going on in the first phases of the game so if you uh, establish a position on the platform wait for the enemy to come shoot him and then fall back you get a good laser burn uh, as an opener or you can put out a good laser burn as an opener it's a little bit scary that there was fire coming from the right side it's a locust oh that's scary is he coming up there no he's coming up here again there we go yeah 
I'm not so afraid of his uh, laser damage there because I had I had more and um, you know he only had four mediums that was okay so again the peaking is on where are they oh there's a guy you can retaliate but my, my team is on the oh, on the low ground mostly and they are kind of uh, sitting here this is interesting normally you would have a NASCAR like a, a right side push but that's not happening right now. People are actually defending the left side. What is going on? That is di what is different here today. Fuel Interesting. Fuel okay, we got a guy on top. It's an annihilator. Acquired. We can kill him if we do it together. Now I got a lot of damage now. This is uh, what you should not do. However, I'm pretty happy that the damage went to my head, and I'm not even kidding, because um, it is pretty unlikely that I get another shot to the head. Okay. Let's push up here. We have some friends. I shall target you here, Acquired. because the Annihilator is not a threat anymore. You c I could have gone for the kill just to get a, that kill number going, but um, he wasn't a threat. And as a result, as a result, oh wait, artillery, yeah, why not? As a, as a result, I was uh, going for another target. Oh, Direwolf, running into my artillery, that's great. Oh, Stalker, oh, Linebacker, oh, blocked, damn it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, man. Let's run. Okay. Oh, there's a linebacker coming. Linebacker right side, Echo 5. He's pushing me. He's gonna be in the open in a second. Kill the linebacker. Oh, hotel. Dire whale's open. New target acquired. All right. Baited him. And I drop. Okay. So, I used a lot of my armor already. Um, but my team is doing some good work with that. So, um, we have two kills. They have one. I'm gonna take the UAV really quick. And um, I think we, we are in a good position to win this game. So what we need now is uh, we need to keep up the aggression. Linebacker in the bottom. I think we shouldn't chase the linebacker. New target acquired. And we got dominance over the top, so that's really good. Kodiak in the back. It's working out pretty fine here. We, we have pushed them back. They are on the run, they are uncoordinated, they need to regroup if they want to make something happen here. Acquired. I'm on the stalker, Juliet. Is he going for me? Uh, he doesn't have locks. We use the cool shot. And then we keep going. So, that is a dead stalker, we have three and one now. New target acquired. This is the Kodiak. He is trying to reposition, and we have a cicada, as you can see on the on the top right. We have a cicada with uh, open side horses there in my target lock. I think I'm going for him. I got the damage potential to kill him. All I need is a steady aim on his side torso. No, not quite enough. But the next burn will kill him, or maybe not. Okay, he's down. Oh wait, enemies behind me! I just realized. Thank you for that. Ooh, that was a bad positioning. I did not see the enemies here. This guy is dead as well. Six and one. We are making some progress. I think I'm going to take this UAV. And do you see? Oh my god. Come on. A little bit higher. My mouse won't move. What? What was that? I, I think it was stuck on my mouse pad for some reason or so. Um, do you see the, the, the mobility, the torso mobility? It is so, so good. I could just look up like that and look down like this. Uh, we take the side torso. The underneath. Oh, sorry. Blocking the teammates here. Yeah. Oh my god. We take him. Still alive. Okay. <laughs> that was not good. I was jumping right in front of my friends there. And I'm going to kill myself now. No. Nope. There we go. <laughs> All right, so again, mobility, being active, trying to uh, get into a, a position or getting onto an angle where the enemy is not aware of you is crucial here. We survived, we almost cooked ourselves, but we dealt 706 damage in the end. So this is how you want to play it. You could play it a little bit more safe than I did here, so I was really pushing my boundaries here. But uh, again, 706 is pretty good for Anusiel. We got one killing blow, nine assists. Even the kill was damage dealt and four components destroyed. That was the first round, let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Canyon Network. We are overriding, very important. We are um, probably establishing a murder ball of some sort, so let's see. Um, my assault mix are on the right side and um, yeah, I'm just going to scout a little bit. Maybe I can deal some early damage with my large lasers, maybe not. 
And if it's getting too hot, then I'm going to retreat, right? So we lost 2% of our armor. Is there more to come? No. Okay, so we got a Jenna with us. That is great. Maybe we can establish some kind of wolf pack thing. Like him running around, squirreling around the enemies and me shooting from the top. Oh, there's a guy. Uh, I see movement in Delta 2. It seems they want to set up some sniping things. Yeah, I cannot really see what that is. Is that a Warhammer? I think it was Warhammer. I think there's a long-range Warhammer in Delta 2. Okay, let's see. Oh, and they're all down below. <laughs> okay, that was close. Um, there's an airstrike coming in. Uh, like this. Ow. Splash the damage. We're jumping up. And now we're hot. Okay. So we got a little bit of team damage here by jumping in front of our friends. As you can see, my back is uh, not open, but it's critical. Uh, also, they are just dropping strikes on us left and right. So we need to reposition. Uh, I think they, they want to surround us, guys. Let's choose a flank and then push that. For example, the right side. Because they, again, they have long range everywhere. Okay, that's a lot of missiles coming in from Bushwhacker. Mm, it was a shame that that guy ran in front of me, that interrupted my beam. But we got some solid damage to the Bushwhacker's center torso. That is good. Um, I really hope my team is not focusing too much on the guys on the outskirts here, because we have um, some mechs just directly in front of us here. That is more or less a defensive airstrike or artillery strike, because I want them not to push over this thing while we are repositioning. So, let's see what we can do. I love this jump jetty. Whoa! That was not so good. I mean, we dealt damage, but it wasn't really focused. It was splashing all over the enemy. Guys, we are pushing right side below. Come on, follow up. Don't get intimidated by the Atlas kill. We can kill the die wolf right in front of us. Kill the die. We can do that. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Don't let him get back to second line. Kill the die in the back. Don't let him get away. Guys, this is how you do it. <laughs> this is the thing. Um, a lot of people are focusing the mech right in front of them while the enemies get back to safety. And uh, you, you just aim at second line and just finish the job because the die wolf cannot harm us anymore. And um, that's a huge, huge deal. If he would have gotten back to second line, uh, he would be still dangerous, he would be still on the battlefield and he could potentially, you know, deal a lot of damage in the long run. Hey, we got two kills advantage, let's uh, take them. Let's brawl him down. Nice kill here. Uh, we got a stalker, but there's something in our back. I'm really, I'm not the best brawler, but I really want that guy to be off the battlefield. So I'm going to harass him a little bit. I won't kill him, probably. Uh, we've got two mechs in the back, Echo 4. We need one or two more mechs. It's the Warhammer and the Catapult. Where's the Catapult? Hey, Cat. Oh, that's, uh, sorry. If he decides to go for me, I'm so dead. Okay, let's go. I'm hot anyway. All right. Is he running XL? Let's see. Yeah, he is running XL. Okay. He had to, yeah. That was 6 SRM6. And here's the Warhammer. I'm going to take some overheat damage here. But it's... <gasps> I wanted to say it's all calculated, but I just realized my team is dying! What is going on here? Okay, guys, we need to be in the fight, and we need to be in the fight soon. Alright. Um, yeah, the Commando, the Wolfhound. Okay, that was solid. We did some good damage. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Damn it. I reacted too slow here. Holy moly. Let's see if my team can bring it to the end. I have no idea what happened in the center there. My team just vanished into thin air. Okay, we got a kill on the Stalker. That is a huge deal. Go for the big one. Go for the big one. There's an Assault Mech on the right side. Kill it. The Kodiak. Kill the Kodiak. I'm got no, 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 guys, come on! Yeah, I was saying uh, get the Kodiak because um, oh my god, usually usually it's easier to bring down already damaged assault max in the end um, because they have bigger hitboxes, they are easier to take down. But in this scenario, the death knell is super super squishy. He is uh, he's got a lot of damage already. Um, maybe it would have been a better idea to go for the death knell here. Come on.
come on, you can't do that. Go, go for the Kodiak! There we go. Nice one. The death knell, the commando, is super crit in center torso. Oh my god. Can we do that? Probably not. Ah! Oh, I need to rewatch that, guys. I, I have no idea. We had an advantage by two. Two kills ahead. And we didn't make it. For whatever reason, <laughs> I have no idea. All right, but um, again, I think you can see the potential of that Uziel build. I really like it. As you could see, it is super squishy. As soon as you get shot, you 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 just die. But you have nice uh, damage over time. You have high mounts. You have mobility. You can position yourself pretty much freely. You can do some jump jet shenanigans and shoot while you are falling down. And then you get uh, killing blow, seven assists, two kill most damage dealt, and exactly 657 damage each game when you do that. So. That was your daily dose, everybody. It was a shame that we didn't win the last one, but I had fun in it, and that's what matters, right? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.